Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. And welcome back to the Peter Plan playing Shadowrun. So, last time it was a lot of exposition, a lot of talking. This time it's time for, well, some combat. And, uh, mm, wait a second, how hurt are we? we? We need to look. We need to look at ourselves. Because we are, uh, we have 12 of 40 hit points. I really don't like to do this, but we're already going to go with the heavy med kit. These items used to replenish after missions, but I'm not sure if this time that is true. Are we really going to go that heavy? Yes, because if we don't do it, we'll die. No. No, we gotta trust a little bit in our own abilities. Yup. 13 HP. Very good. That is quite a bit some... That's at least something I can work with. Let's take some cover, and let's stay on a, a dragon line. It's a light dragon line. Um, where can I see again what bonuses that give me? I want to show you guys what bonuses that give me, but... I can look it up in the... the well, encyclopedia of this game, but I kind of wanted to do that in a different way. Ooh, he has very little magic defense. Very good. Take that. Why do I have healing 4 per round? Wait, does that spell that I just fired also heal me? I did 8 damage and get 4 per round heals? That would be awesome! Uh, Duncan over here is kind of exposed, huh? Kinda need him to get in a better position. Hmm... Oh! Extra speed. This girl oh, is both a mage and a shaman. Well, and I'm glad that we have gone with a cyber mage and not a full mage. Because apparently, Miss Orc over here. Uh, Gobbit, I think her name was. L let me not be uh, that bad that I can't remember. It was Is, Is or something? She's still called Shy Dwarf. Okay, this is Gobbit. Indeed. She, uh, oh, there's no text. That surprised me. Um... Uh, yeah, wow, willpower 5, charisma, look at these stats, and wow, yeah, that's sometimes what I don't like about the companions, they seem to be even stronger than you are, but yes, she has both magic in the form of shamanic magic and the form of normal magic, so let's see what we have. Poison Fog, that's a new spell, but uh, first, I always loved this spell, because it speeds you up. That is probably something interesting of note. What the heck is this? Grenade launcher! Uh, I don't want to go there because I'm afraid that that will cause... Well, them to throw grenades on us, but... Uh, ooh, 45% is not very good, but 72 is. And I missed. Oh, but I still hit because it's a grenade. Thank you very much. Let's go heavy on it. Ooh, please sit together. Please sit together so that next grenade will do much damage. Nope, not happening. In fact, we're going to be flanked from behind. Did I tell you already that I didn't like it? Yeah, we gained 4 HP. Um, Gobbit needs to move. But first, we heal ourselves up. Together with the increase that we have from... Uh, can we reach her? Yeah. She still is covered. I think she will... that Gobbit needs to move double uh, time in a moment. That guy is in the open. He should be dead. Yes, he is. Very good. Um, what can our... Twist raise for more internal damage. That's extra bleeding. I... That's eviscerate. Compound kick. Piece up to one arm may do AP damage. If this is like in the second game, this gives us a lot of chances to uh, st stun the guy. But having said that, I kind of want to make sure that I'm ready for it. And I also need to move our shy dwarf here. Can we get cover behind? Yes, we can. It's not a very good cover, but it is cover. So we'll access this access point. This little wire thing is 
maybe oh, sorry again a little bit framiness I, I need to fix that uh i'll work on that it might be possible to use the network connection on this police motorcycle to do some damage to their local network we can deactivate drones or send a remote command to override the local drones uh i think this is friendly recognition routine so if we had drone control, our main character probably, we could have taken over the drones. But now we've powered them down, but I haven't seen drones yet. I don't know. I also know that we have a very good shot from this angle. So what we're gonna do is do a burst fire. Bleeding and damage. Yowza, that gun is pretty good. Customized customized liver gun huh. never saw that before all right well at least that's done oh oh there are the drones and there are another two people i don't know if they have activated yet but our dwarf character over here yeah that's full cover but that's for him you know what let's good that's at least some damage uh then the question is, you know what? Fire at him. We missed, unfortunately. It seems uh, good chance that we would hit, but let's get over here. Yeah, they're already firing on us. All right, so Gobbit, you need to get out of that position. And I want you to summon the spirit, but apparently that will make you stand way out in the open. Nonetheless, we're going to do it. If for one reason only. Uh, yeah, so I said already, I did this fight uh, partially already before. That's why you have now two spirits coming up with that achievement. Because I want to use the spirit in order to... Kill this guy, most likely. Or we can use it up the front. Let's uh, first try and see if we can kill this guy. This is only one movement. Gives the spirit full cover. Hmm. You know what? Get flanked. He misses the second shot. That is really not what I wanted to see. There is so little cover up here. Oh, but there's some cover here. Very good. Do you still... You still have a grenade, I think, right? Yes. 76 and 70%. I see two people standing close to one another. I say... Grenade may go away. Yes, 14 damage to all of them. And an achievement called Boom. Okay, thank you very much. As you can see, I'm still popping achievement left and right with the first fight. Uh, as said, I didn't get very far until I already noticed like, Hey, we can build a Cyber Mage. And that is uh, something, as I said before, you couldn't do in the previous game. So we, yes, we had to go for that. I'm looking for a cover from both sides, but I don't think I can get it. In fact, the cover is very, very piss poor. Uh, Gobbit is standing extremely in the open, my orc girl, but I hope that the water spirit will distract anything from the back and that the front, well, the front will have to be handled by our own people. Holy heck, moving him up is already, like, very difficult. He has, like, no range for walking now. Duncan, you need a little bit of training, dude. You are really weak in walking. Dang, nab it. Um, yeah, sorry about the framing. I don't know why that's happening right now. Probably because it's really hot over here. My computer has been running already for quite a few hours. And then all of a sudden it stops. It's, yeah, it's like that. Just fire. Nope. 45% chance. It wasn't really high. I, gi I give that in. I don't like my oh there's big cover and we have a big movement and i assume i have cover from this thing he does focus the water spirit that's good for us a conjurer well i'm glad she is hurt because conjurers we like to take out because if the conjurer dies of the spirit then also the spirit is gone what just hurt the sniper means business stay in cover Oh, okay, so if you are not in cover, you are just going to get shot. I see. I'm so sorry, Gobbit. I didn't know. 
By the way, I'm noticing that this guy doesn't have a break chance. Normally when you call in a spirit, uh, well, they don't like to be called into service, let's put it that way. And they, uh, well, can break free from their servitude. Up a goblet is yield. That is good. Uh, and then he already shook. Is now that he's time based? He's just gone. All right, that makes it more predictable. It was always very, very unpredictable. Um, I think it's good enough to reload the grenade for. Mm, perhaps not. W what is your chance to hit? Seventy-two. Yeah, but one grenade could probably take out that fellow on the left so we're going to confirm reload grenades launcher and fire again boom we killed the spirit in one blow and the other guy we also destroyed a drone uh, I am even going to make use of this in order to run up far 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 ahead yeah baby and our spell is available magic ball doesn't say that you can heal it just says that you have an arm because of chance, but 56% chance, not very good, but uh, oh, we should try. And we get some damage. We could really, really use one more hit. We need to stay in cover always. That is apparently uh, part of this mission. Doesn't have a lot of hit points anymore. And she already conjured a spirit, so she might not be able to do so again. I'm not really, really sure. Hmm. 38%. Well, you already missed one to 45. Can you hit? Can you hit? Can you hit? Can you hit? No, Duncan. Oh, well. Let's see what you do, because you are alone. We have deactivated the drones. We are moving up. And uh, we are pretty healthy, actually, right now. So, I don't think there is a lot of things they can do. I must say, the police looks a little bit, like, militaristic in the way they look. Um, take uh, cover behind. Good. Uh, in that case, now I think it's time for the big run. Yes, because I can see the exit. Very good. Staying in cover, of course, because we don't want to get sniped. Although, luckily, apparently, we get our heads split open like a melon if we uh, get out of cover. Gobbit took uh, 14 damage, I think, from the sniper. Enemy turn? Where? Where, 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 where? There! 5% chance. Run to it! You are out, shy dwarf. Uh, this is cover. Very good. And I think that's far enough away from the uh, covers over there that we won't have problems. That's what I'm banking on, because this cover spot is of course horrible for these guys, but... They're pretty far away. What are they called? HKPF guard. Hong Kong Police Force guard? And that's what I'm gonna go with right now. Yeah, they're still not firing. Oh, no. Ah, me and my big mouth. Me and my big mouth. No, oh, we're safe over here. Oh, Gobbit can heal up some of the damage. Gobbit. I don't know uh, when our HP is now restored, because normally after a mission it was restored, but... Uh, the last combat we weren't restored, but... Well, our main character is at least away from combat. Uh, this is, uh, this should be done. This, uh, is over. Darn it, I work on the framiness, I promise you. I don't know why, because apparently then it works and then it doesn't work, it seems extremely random. But as I said, probably my computer overheating. It's really warm again in uh, this locale. I wonder if these guards move forward. Uh, I think it's uh, good that we were able to kill these people. The grenade launcher actually did uh, some good damage over here. And the grenades, normally, I find them... Um, so and so to use. 
Because, well, there are single-use items normal at time, uh, most of the time, but with grenade launchers, of course, well, they're a little bit more... a more renewable source. Voila! Well, we're through on that. The episode ran a little long, so I cut it in two. But I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.